In my university have been receiving time limited assessments instead of exams which means you have 24 hours to prepare research and write a full exam paper so let's just say it's been pretty hectic around here for the past 24 hours but i decided the best way to motivate me is to do what i do best and is to vlog the whole experience so join me on this wild ride where for the next 24 hours i do nothing but write my exam let's just get straight into the video hello and good morning it's about half nine and my time limited assessment gets released in about half an hour so if you're wondering what that is basically a thousand word essay question a thousand word problem question um both in in 24 hours so at 10 a.m tomorrow um obviously i've done quite a bit of research around some areas that i thought it'd be on so i'm not going in like fully unprepared but I'm obviously a bit stressed about it because it's EU constitutional and it's probably my worst subject but my coursework was 30% and I did get a 74 on that so fingers crossed I've been feeling a bit crap shall we just say um like groggy bit of a headache so I went for a test and it was negative so was happy about that um and as well to add to that yesterday i have a maiden in my flat and i was making a roast dinner and i was trying to like make a really nice dinner for me and anthony so i was like okay i'm gonna put my maiden down because all my clothes dry and normally i unclip one side of the maiden and then i unclip the other side of the maiden and it just like kind of falls and i was like i'm putting this down wrong so i'm gonna unclip both of them at the same time lo and behold it just dropped on my thumb i screamed and my thumb is so swollen okay it doesn't look that swollen but it was a promise at this point i actually sat down to do the work that i was meant to be doing i.e the exam and just here i'm just planning the whole question trying to get myself sorted get myself motivated because it's always best to pick apart the questions first it consisted of one essay question and one problem question i started with the essay because i enjoyed doing that a lot more and then moved on to the problem question i am about 400 words into the essay question which i think i'm going to find a bit easier than the problem question but i'm like hitting a wall and i think it's because i'm at home it feels like i haven't got that exam excitement do you know what i mean like where you do an exam and the adrenaline's pumping like i haven't got that i'm just quite chilled and quite laxy daisy which could be a good thing because i've got 24 hours like i've probably got another 12 hours on this so maybe that's why i'm taking it slow okay guys so at this point i think i started procrastinating just a little bit like i decided to move this candle for no reason and burn myself and then i got back into it for a few more hours but it was hard it's half four and i just finished my essay it is 1069 words where count was meant to be 1000 but obviously 10 percent above or below it's now problem question time but i'm tired and i'm hoping i get this done by about nine o'clock problem questions don't tend to take me as long spoiler alert i was so wrong here's me telling you guys that i'm about to go on a break and grab myself some buffalo wings nine o'clock and i think i'm utilizing the 24 hours a little bit too much 
at this point guys i do not know what happened i kind of just was given up a little bit i was tired but i had one last push in me can you tell i'm getting tired because i've moved from the desk to the bed i'm literally so close to finish now well i'm not because i've got a lot to sort out with references and things but nearly there as time went on and i think we're at about 10 o'clock now i was really getting closer to just lying in bed and finishing the work there but i maintained my seating position and managed to crack on but it was stress i actually just give up now i think i think i'm there i think i'm there but I didn't reference my whole second problem question because I thought I'll do it at the end and now it's the end and I really still don't want to do it. Oh. I don't need this negative energy in my life. I'm armed with an Oscar reference and guys. <laughs> what the hell is that? I actually thought like, okay, this slow key gonna pop off, like it's gonna be really cute. I think I'm gonna look really nice. You guys are the first hand witness to my demise. This was the final stretch, the final push, half one in the morning and after the longest day of my life, I was nearly done. But I did start to go a little bit crazy and managed to get a little dancing before I finished. Hello. I've just submitted my coursework. It's not finished entirely. It's finished. It's done. I just don't have the right frame of mind to look it over right now. It's time for bed. Okay, I have new sheets on, new pyjamas on, and episodes of The Office on. And it's time to go to bed. And I'm going to get up nice and early tomorrow and look over it with you all. And then this 24 hour exam vlog will come to an end so i'm ready and i'm just reading over the essay for the last little bit and then i'm gonna submit it i'm so nervous i'm actually so nervous but i'm sure i'll be fine so i'm just gonna quickly go through it now and then i'll speak to you after the about to submit right now i'm just going on to the little dropbox Yeah, it has been the longest 24 hours of my whole entire life and I really want to get back to bed. <laughs> oh, I am feeling stressed. I just want to do something that I've been saying I'll do for a long time over on my Instagram. So I don't know if you know, but I have two Instagrams. I've got Legally Clow and I've got cloud.moran which is like my main account where i just post pictures of myself and then legally cloud is like a blog where i post exam tips i post nice pictures of me studying i really don't tend to go on my main instagram anymore i'm really on my legal one because my work's getting a lot more busier now and i just prefer posting on that one but over on my legal Instagram, I've noticed a lot of like law students have started small businesses and things like that. And I really want to support them. So I've decided that every video I'm going to promote a small business. It depends on things like postage and how long that takes. So the first thing that I want to talk about is something that came a week ago, which is notepads and cards from the Notegate Club. Now, this brand is something that is a law student's dream so the first thing i got was this pack of 100 statute notes so if you're a law student you'll appreciate this i also got the cornell notes i've recently been trying the cornell methods and i absolutely do love it and honestly this paper is so sleek and thick it's absolutely gorgeous the next thing i got was these little essay plans which is something I'm really looking forward to using the next one is case notes which has 
these are the best ones i'm just gonna put that up there they also do mini ones of these with like the statute note size so like these for revision i haven't got them i didn't think i wanted them but then when i seen the statute new ones i decided i definitely wanted them so i've ordered them too then go follow the note 8 club on instagram or head over to their website <laughs>